Ken and Scott here from the Crystal Method. Uh, we're in uh, Glendale, the, the bomb shelter. The bomb shelter is in its last throes, actually. Yes, not like... Uh, unlike, the ins <laughs> unlike the insurgency, the uh, bomb shelter is actually in actually, its last throes. Actually, the way that our new studios came together, we might be here for quite some time. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, you can see that, um, you know, we've been here for quite a while and we've uh, we're sort of built up all this gear around us. And we, we, we sort of promised no new gear, no new anything till we're in the new studio, but we got some killer new M-Audio hardware and software that we couldn't live without. So um, let's see what we're doing with it. Okay, one of the new things that uh, is gonna replace one of our uh, workhorses, uh, our MPC 3000, uh, is the uh, M-Audio trigger finger. Yeah, you know, and it can connect through MIDI only as well, but it's just so great having the USB connection and having it show up as its own interface. You don't have to route it through anywhere. Well before Acid and Live, we had been building up a huge collection of, uh, you know, one-shot drums, mainly for, for real drum machines. But uh, with the trigger finger, it just makes it so much more versatile because you can load all the sounds into, you know, into Impulse, in, into Ableton Live. So you have an infinitely vast drum machine. And it fits in your carry-on, unlike the MPC-3000, which does not <laughs> fit. Well, I mean, I guess you could if you had a big carry-on, but it'd be, uh, it'd be difficult. Also on the uh, trigger finger, it also allows you to use that as almost like a, a modular control controller, leaning into it and really, you know, using it on filters. And it's a really smart, sleek box that completely takes the place of some of these older, outdated boxes that, um, that we relied on so, for so many years. You can use it for lots of different things. You know, you can set it up to be your uh, your channel faders or your master faders, and, and assign the controllers to different filter settings. So, it it can do a lot more than just uh, lend itself to uh, drum machine pads. Unlimited possibilities, really, when you think about it. The last tour for uh, community service too is a DJ tour, but for a good portion of it, we were out we were out on a regular tour bus, and so we put together. Um, we probably could have had a better road case made for it, but I just took my biggest suitcase, which was a little tore up at the time, and uh, we put in the uh, the Ozonic. And in the same suitcase, we had uh, the LX4 system, which had the uh, subwoofer and, and amplifier, and then going to the two uh, satellite left and right speakers. And so we had a, a really good moving, traveling studio on wheels. You know, I mean, normally you get like the little tiny computer speakers or whatever, but we had a really good quality studio monitoring system on the road. We could take it into the uh, hotel room every day and work on stuff. We're working on a score right now for a movie that's gonna come out near the end of the year called London. And we were trying to come up with ideas on the road and uh, having, um, you know, that ozone or, a, or something like a trigger finger really allows us to just immediately check into our hotel room pull everything out and go right to work. And it's it really made a big difference in uh, our production style. The Imposco. Yeah, we, were, we were surprised that someone made one because most people don't even know that keyboard in the first place, you yeah, know, but we, That was one of our first, one of the first real, like getting some record company money and spending it. <laughs> uh, anyways, long story short, we, made, we bought an Oscar and uh, we've had it for many years. Uh, very temperamental, um, one of the first analog digital since because it, it, it was full analog but lots of the features were digital on it and we bought the second generation that had the mini installed it's just really cool looking because it's a big old rubber sides yeah. instead of wood you know uh, i was really turned off by a lot of the virtual sense that, that that came out but uh, the last two years with the the Oddity and the uh, Mini Monster and the uh, Imposter, they've really captured the essence of the original synths and put them in a, a sweet package that allows you to use on your studio or on the road. Oh yeah, we're always about dirtying things up a little bit. We always try to, you know, try to tweak it in a way that it sounds, you know, it's sound like, it sounds like this studio looks like a complete mess. Like, so let's <laughs> play that loop going through the oh, yeah. trash. The trash is a isotope plug-in. This is pretty simple, clean sounding little percussion -y kind of track. Of course, we wanted to dirty it up a bit, change it, give a little bit more character, and we were able to do that with, uh, with trash. Really clever. Throw it in the trash. Throw it in the trash. Spectron, another powerful plug-in from the people at Isotope who uh, brought you, of course, trash, vinyl, 
and Ozone 3. Spectron is a, so a flange coarser with a great filter, great delays, and just a lot of flexibility. It, it, it's for a plug-in that's, um, that's so, so affordable, it's a nice little package of, of really tweakable options that can turn the most incredibly basic sounding loop or idea into something that's wide and delayed and, and squashed and just has a, a whole different sound to it. And for the kid that's in the studio that doesn't have a lot of uh, funds at his disposal, it's, uh, it's really, really affordable. And for the professional like us, because we were just been messing with it since we got it, so. I think the gooey is groovy. The gooey, it's very gooey. <laughs> it's, it is, very gooey. <laughs> Man, about four years ago, we were um, we were looking around, and, and a good friend of ours, uh, Byron Wong, out of uh, Toronto, comes up to us. Oh, you got you have to see this new product. It's out of Germany. It's called Live. It's going to change everything. So we went over there, and we saw a really, really early demo of this of Live, and we were just no, it doesn't exist. How could they have? It's 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 basically what we what we knew of as Acid with the. Being able to, you know, use loops and build tracks, and, and it's that on a Mac. It's and it's and it works, and it sounds good, and it, uh, so we immediately um, got the first version, played with it uh, endlessly in the studio, worked with it on, uh, I think, uh, tweak end probably. Always from the very beginning, had great internal plugins that really allowed you to to really mangle and construct these really great um, new loops out of previous loops, and so on. Legion of Boom on the track called Weapons of Mass Distortion, there's a mangled sound that, uh, the beginning of that whole track was us showing a couple guys from the UK live. And I just grabbed some loop and I just threw it in there and I was like, oh, you gotta see this, you gotta see this. Threw it in there and just started mangling it up and doing all these different things and it, all of a sudden it was like, wow, that's really, really cool. <laughs> so I was, uh, I, ex I was like, okay, you guys, whatever. So I exported it. And uh, I think the next day we started working on a whole song based around that one sound. And, and it, it is absolutely uh, changing the way that people are making music. And I think that uh, um, the sky's the limit with that, with that program, not only because of what they've started with, but the people that are developing software just seem to be coming up with more and more ideas to really blow up your concept of what a, you know, a piece of software can do. I mean, it just does everything now. It's so simple and it's, uh, it's such a stable piece of software that, uh, that you can't help but uh, sit there all day long and be really creative. To keep up to date on all our activities, go to thecrystalmethod.com and uh, to find out more good stuff about M-Audio, check out m-audio.com. Thanks so much for coming in. We'll talk to you next time.